For this project, we will be creating and opening an existing scenario. Click Open a Scenario and go to the Data Federate. Ensure you're logged in as student. If you're not, username and password as student. Go to Browse and expand Public, Users, Training, and open Remstat Timeline Models. Click Open. Let the window reconfigure. Format for ease of use. If your model was the incorrect model, you can fix it by right-clicking on Hercules, selecting Properties. Go to 3D Graphics, Model, and change the model to Water Drop. The Water Drop should be in your Resources folder. Once you have done this, click Apply and OK. We'll now be using Snapshot. To open Snapshot, click on Snapshot Properties. Move it over to the side for now. Make sure it's on Snap to File and select a file format. I will be using JPEG. Just leave it to the side for now and go to the properties of your scenario. On the basic time, ensure that the start time is on Use Analysis Start Time and that you disable Stop at Time. Click Apply and OK. We will now want to store the view, but first we need a view. Move the timeline over to a point where the water starts coming out of the rear door. Once you have found this point, click on Stored Views and select New. Name this view Water Drop. Once you have done this, click Apply and OK. In your Snapshot Properties, ensure that it's set to File and that the file format is Windows Bitmap. Turn anti-aliasing off in the resolution to normal. Once you have done this, click Apply. After you have done this, click Snap Frame. Name the frame, whatever you wish, and click Save. You now have a snapshot. It's time to create another snapshot, but this time we are going to enable anti-aliasing. Go ahead and enable anti-aliasing, and don't worry about the blending region. Go ahead and click Apply. Take another snapshot, and name it the same thing you did before, only tag on aliasing at the end. Click Save. Open both images, and compare. Do you see the difference? One is a lot smoother than the other. Let's start making high resolution images. Change the resolution to high. Change the DPI to 96 and the image width to 5. Click Apply. Take a snapshot. Name it Water Drop High Res 96 and click Save. You'll notice it takes longer to process. Repeat these steps with 300 and 600 dpi as well. For the purposes of time, I have chosen to skip ahead. Open all the files and compare the images side by side. Do you notice a difference? You shouldn't. On screen, it's very hard to tell the difference between DPIs. However, on printed paper, the difference is significant. You now want to zoom in on the field crew. You may have to fix the model the same way you did with Hercules. Once you have zoomed in on the field crew, right-click on Field Crew and select Report in Graph Manager. Ensure object type is Ground Vehicle. The field crew is selected, show reports is on, and show graphs is off. Select LLA position. Click the duplicate style. 
Select Alt to Alt Rate and remove them. Once you have done this, click OK. Rename the style to Position and Time. Once you have done this, close out of the Graph Manager. Right click on Field Crew and select its properties. Go to the 3D Graphics Data Display. Once you are here, click Add. Select your style, position, and time. Click OK. Ensure that the Show option is enabled. Once you have done this, click Apply and OK. You will notice that the data is now displayed in the 3D graphics window. Go ahead and re-go into the properties window of field crew and go back to the data display. Select position and time style. We want to increase the font size to medium. Keep the format horizontal and keep the title on. Click apply and OK. You should notice that the text is now larger. Let's take a snapshot. Let's make the DPI 300 again. And this time, let's make the width 10 inches. This will be a good printing snapshot. Once you have done this, click Apply. Take another snapshot and let it process. Let's create a graph. Right click on Hercules and select Report in Graph Manager. Ensure the object type is aircraft and Hercules is selected. Turn off Show Reports and turn on Show Graphs. Have the style be Flight Profile by Time. Generate as a report graph and select Generate. Save this file. Once you have done this, go ahead and close out of the Graph Manager. Take any additional snapshots that you desire, keeping in mind that snapshots are an excellent way to present in a presentation. This concludes this tutorial of SDK 10.